Hello everyone, I'm Yvonne Lee, Community Manager with DICE. Today we have with us two talent guides, David Bolton, who handles Java and the C programming languages for us, and we have Eric Schweitzer, who deals with iOS. Recently, David asked an interesting question. Is Xamarin uh, better than Xcode for developing uh, iOS applications. He asked this because he's in the midst of uh, developing his own iOS app using Xamarin Studio. So, David, you want to take it away? Okay, yeah. Um, wh when we say Xamarin, by the way, I'm talking about the Xamarin development system. This is um, it's a variation on Project Mono, uh, which was de which was developed to to run .NET applications on Linux, and it's now been extended to produce uh, iOS applications, um, native to produce native code running applications. So, in theory, it should produce apps that are the same as iOS, but because of the language that's used, C Sharp, which I believe is considerably better than than uh, than Objective C, I believe that Xamarin provides a better programming environment. So um, I, I'm just interested in seeing what other people, especially those with an, with an iOS bent, um, think about this. Um, Eric. Hi. Uh, well, David, I mean, I'm I'm not a C sharp guy. Um, you know, I've learned and teased on Objective C, so that's what I'm familiar with. Uh, what I've looked into and learned about Xamarin is that it, if you're familiar with C Sharp and don't know anything about Objective C, it seems like a reasonable way to get started. Uh, it's um, you know there are a lot more people who understand C Sharp and know it than Objective C. I mean, Objective C is uh, understandably obscure. Uh, the big problem I see with using uh, this environment is it doesn't support what Apple provides in Xcode, which is commonly known as Interface Builder. Uh, you have to do pretty much all your screen layouts in code. And this is going to be a challenge to create and maintain. I mean, one of the big advantages of using Xcode natively is that you can do an awful lot of the stuff in Interface Builder. Almost all your UI is done visually on screen. Um, doing this in code is very time consuming. It takes a lot of typing, uh, hundreds if not thousands of lines of code. And if you're using something like uh, auto layout, uh, putting in layout constraints in code is going to be painful. So I would say that something like Xamarin is good for people who are very familiar with C Sharp, are not familiar at all with Objective C, and need to get something fairly simple out quickly uh, without a fairly steep learning curve. Uh, anything beyond a simple app with just a handful of screens is going to be really painful. Um. Yeah, I agree, I agree to a certain extent, but I know that Xamarin have been, they've got an alpha version of a, a GUI interface builder that will generate C-sharp code. Uh, that's for the Mac. It's not, it's not been launched yet, but they announced it a couple of months ago. So I know that's coming down the line. Um, I've actually, yeah, I've been writing what I call nibless apps where I do create all the user interface in code, but it's actually, I, I find creating a button is only about four or five lines of code. Um, same with labels. It's um, one, of the, one of the things I like about C Sharp is it is a, thing, a higher level language than Objective C. Um, that's that's maybe unfair because there may be aspects of Objective C that I don't know about. Things that I like in in C Sharp in particular, things like the the high level libraries, um, di um, dictionaries, uh, lists. You uh, you've got link language integrated query, which lets you manage a list of objects in memory very very easily. So all all of these mean from what I've seen that my my code that I'm writing is about half the length. Of, of the typical uh, uh, Objective C code for, to do the same functionality. Um, one of the other things I'm doing at the moment is um, trying to adapt a load of UI kit tutorials that I've seen on the web and then rewrite and, re and redo those in C Sharp. Um, so for a lot of that stuff, particularly games, I don't think you need so much the GUI builder, do you? The, the interface builder for, do for doing a lot of that stuff. 
Well, um, I mean, I don't know how familiar you are with Objective-C, but, um, I mean, dictionaries have been around since the very first release. Uh, Objective-C has a huge number of tools for managing libraries and SQL queries. Uh, core data is all SQL-based. Uh, something I haven't had much experience using, but I know it's there. So mm. I, I have a feeling that if you dig into the language a bit, you will find that everything you're used to is there. Um, you know, I've worked on apps now where you know, some screens are purely an interface builder. There's not a single line of actual code. Now, um, that has its advantages and disadvantages, quite honestly. I mean, the advantage is, you know, writing it is fast. And um, getting it right is much easier visually. Uh, the problem I have with it is debugging it can be painful. Uh, there's a million little buttons on Interface Builder, and you got the wrong one checked. Things just don't behave as you expect. <clears throat> um, layout constraints are an incredibly powerful tool that Apple added in iOS 6. Uh, you can do them programmatically, but honestly, it's really painful. I, I would not envy anyone trying to do that. And what it allows you to do is account for things like localization, where objects on the screen will resize and move around depending on how long the text is, and they will also account for different screen sizes. So it's very easy to design things for the iPhone 4 and 5, where uh, the screen is slightly different and everything will look good on both without writing a whole lot of code to uh, make it move around when you want it to. Um, it does take a lot of getting used to. It's something very different than what most people have been using before. And until you get familiar with it, it is kind of painful. Those things seem to do what you don't expect. But now that I'm getting familiar with it, I, I really see how the power behind it and how much easier it is than all this code writing. Okay. Um, I mean, my, myself, I'm, I'm from a fairly intense C-sharp background. I've been programming it for about five or six years uh, with WinForms, which are which are the GUI for, for Windows. Um, so I've never, I've, I've been before that I did Delphi, which was very similar um, to, um, C, to C Sharp in terms of WinForms and, and the GUI. Uh, so I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm, I feel comfortable in actually writing a lot of the code. But I can see, I can see your point there about the being able to generate screens quickly. Uh, I, I'm, all I can hope is that the um, the Xamarin people will be bringing out GUI designers. Uh, one thing which I think I can definitely say, I, I believe. Um, Visual Studio, which I use, are, um, is is a better debugger than um, Xcode. But um, but I'm interested in hearing what you think about that. Uh, I, I've used Visual Studio for years. I'm on Visual Studio 2012, and it's a very nice debugger. It works. It, it controls the Mac, which builds it, and then it can and controls the app. Um, what's what's Xcode like for debugging? Hey, Xcode has a built-in debugger. I mean, I've always found it adequate. Um, I mean, I'm at a disadvantage to you because you are familiar somewhat with Xcode and very familiar with C Sharp. I've never used C Sharp at all. Um, you know, the, the debugger in Xcode interacts with the device you're running on. You can put breakpoints. You can see the values of all the variables. Um, I mean, it's you know, they also have all these instruments where you can actually monitor memory usage and uh, just about anything else I'd ever dream of looking at. Yeah. Um, honestly, I've never found uh, Xcode to be limited in that way, and honestly, I'm probably using a tenth of the capability that's there right now. <laughs> no, I agree. I, yes. Uh, okay, maybe it's time I sort of took another look at Xcode. Um, I, I am. I'm, I'm, I mean, the thing I really liked was I hit the ground running with with Xamarin. I was able to get an app up and running fairly quickly. I mean, there's been a lear learning curve for adapting things like, um, I've been doing TCP IP using multi-threading, but some of those things are very, very easy in .NET. And um, the thing that always, I, I tried to learn Objective-C a few years ago, and I still learned it, but it, it was learning the whole uh, iOS and the structure of applications. When I came to doing it again with Xamarin, what I found was I didn't have to learn the language at the same time as I was learning things like view controllers, views, and, and everything there. So it made it a much um, shallower learning curve. And I think that's why I was able to get up and running fairly quickly. Um, and I could see how that would work. I mean, it, it does make a lot of sense. I mean, Objective-C syntax is squirrely. <laughs> yeah. If you're not used to it, it is just plain 
hard to figure out. Um, once you're used to it, like anything else, it kind of makes sense and it, it all flows together. Um, there's a lot more C sharp programmers in the world than there are Objective C programmers. So something like Xamarin is probably a great way to get people up to speed and get something out quickly. But I have a feeling, you know, after you start getting into it, you're going to want to graduate to Xcode and start doing things the way that, you know, <laughs> uh, iOS programmers do at most places. Um, I would consider it kind of a step on the way to get there rather than an end in itself. Uh, could I ask one question? It's, it may be a bit off but I'll explain where I'm coming from. Do you know Java? No, actually I don't. Um, you know, I, but from what I've seen of Java, it's uh, conceptually very similar to Objective-C, but syntactically completely different. It's syntactically, it's very, very similar to C-sharp. The two are probably about 85, 90% um, the same. It's, okay, so it, was just, it was just in case you knew that. Just curious. Um, now, okay, I, th uh, I think this is probably a good time to um, wrap things up, if you're okay. Yeah, I mean, I think the, uh, you know, what I would say is, um, you know, use something like Xamarin as one step on the learning curve, you know, as a way to get something out quickly and get familiar with the, the development environment and, you know, learning about view controllers and all that. But um, when it comes down to really doing big apps, I think you're going to want to be in Xcode and, uh, you know, take the, uh, the whole plunge and get in the pool. Okay, I have to say, Got to disagree with you on this because my app that I, mean, I started this about four or five months ago, and as I said, I've, I've used um, well, it's called Tasks in C Sharp, but it's 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 a it's a way of handling multi-threading. I've been doing um, pulling things from websites, I've and just doing and, and also low-level TCP/IP uh, packet handling, and the whole thing's been very very straightforward, and I really would not want to have to sort of learn all, all that complexity in, in Objective-C and iOS. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you know, doing that in iOS, just as a way of an example, um, you know, there are, there are two philosophies on this. You know, one is to um, not spin off a separate thread and just do everything interrupt-driven, you know, basically asynchronously, and the other is to spin off a separate thread and do it in the background. Um, asynchronous seems to be the preferred method right now, and that doesn't involve any threaded programming at all. So, um, you know, there are lots of design patterns to handle things like this. And again, it's what you're familiar with that makes the most sense. Okay. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think maybe, maybe I really need to sort of give Objective C another go. But I, I do I do feel very comfortable in my uh, C sharp world at the moment. So it's 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 quite a leap to. Uh, to try that. So at, well, least I know, at least I know somebody who can uh, uh, guide me now. So thanks guys. Uh, so I think the sum up is that uh, Xamarin is a great on-ramp and there are lots and lots of uh, C-sharp programmers who will know how to use it but to really get going with Xcode you really want to it really with iOS development you want to continue up that ramp and use Xcode. Mm. <laughs> well, there was, there was one other area where Xamarin um, definitely trumps, and that's if you're doing Android applications as well, because with a with a core code base uh, and then the GUI specific for Android or for iOS, you can you can do that a lot quicker, I think, than than creating a, an iOS app in Objective C and then having to rewrite it in Java. That's true. So thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us. I think you've given uh, mobile developers a lot to think about. Hey, thank you. Thank you.